Hello and welcome back, I've picked up the latest news for you so you know the market trends and we traditionally start with cryptocurrency rates but before we start click the subscribe button if you still didn't do this and like this video. Okay, Bitcoin is now $29,747. It is 0.34% lower comparing to yesterday and 19.08% higher comparing to the previous week. Uh, Ethereum is now $1,873. It is 1.25% 1 higher comparing to the previous day and 14. 0.7% higher comparing to the previous week. BNB is now $243. It is 2.4 74% uh, lower comparing to the previous day and 4.27% uh, higher comparing to the previous week. Having all this in mind, let's switch to the news and figure out what's happening in the industry. Ship rival Floki up 22% as a team introduces 2023 roadmap update. The official Floki account has shared that they are very close to delivering on several key promises on the Floki 2023 roadmap and therefore they shared a, an update to show where things stand now. This includes Floki, uh, Floki file locker upgrade. It will allow the team to implement native payments, burn mechanisms, a referral program and other functionality. The post refers to this as by far Floki Locker's biggest upgrade, which is likely to greatly speed up the adoption of the protocol. The code of the upgrade has been submitted to the blockchain security auditor Certic for review. The Floki team expects a, a green light to be given at any time now and immediately after that it will be launched on mainnet. The second upgrade mentioned is major DeFi lending and borrowing integration. They are about to integrate the biggest lending protocol on the BNB chain, which is at the same time the second biggest DeFi protocol on the entire chain. This will enable Floki users to borrow stable coins and other crypto using their Floki. This one is expected to kick off as early as next week. Binance faces pyramid scheme allegations in Brazil. Scrutiny against Binance continues with allegations that the exchange is running a pyramid scheme within Brazil, coming after accusations of helping customers skirt crypto derivatives investment bans. Uh, invest, uh, Brazilian deputy Alfredo Gaspar has called for Guilherme Haddad, the head of Binance Brazil, to testify before parliament in a probe into suspected pyramid schemes in the nation. The Parliamentary Commission of Inquiry is set to decide on Gaspar's June 21st request on June 27th. Haddad may be obliged to answer questions before the Brazilian Chamber of Deputies contingent on the vote's outcome, according to Brazilian publication Port the pop, uh, the Bitcoin. The request reads the following. Uh, we can deduce did, did that Bitcoin is entirely uh, imbri imbricated with the motivation of this CPI and becomes fundamental to understand its performance in the country, its relationship with BFinetech, its official representative, as well as its connection with companies that are judicially liable for harming Brazilian consumers. This comes as Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, grapples with mounting international regulatory pressure. Scrutiny has come from various corners, including the United States, Australia, the Netherlands, and now Brazil. And uh, relations of Binance and the US is going to be uh, in this video. Bitcoin whales show most active hour in three months as BTC breaks $30,000. Um, so, according to data from the on-chain analytics firm Sentiment, 259 whale transactions occurred two hours after the local top that the cryptocurrency has observed during the past day so far. The relevant indicator here is the whale transaction count, uh, which measures the total number of Bitcoin transactions taking place on the blockchain that is worth at least $1 million in value. Is as general as generally only the whales are capable of moving such large amounts with a single transfer. These transactions can provide us a hint about the degree of activity that the whales are displaying right now. When the value of the whale transaction count is high, 
It means that there are a high amount of large transactions taking place on the network currently. Naturally, such a trend would imply the whales are highly active at the moment. Since the amount involved in these transfers is so high, a large number of them taking place at once can cause noticeable fluctuations in the assets price. Thus, when the whale transaction count is elevated, the cryptocurrency may become more probable to show high volatility. 3AC Ventures to fund OPNX development. OPNX, a cryptocurrency platform, has announced a partnership with 3AC Ventures, a newly established venture capital fund. The announcement was made public via a uh, tweet from OPNX, expressing its excitement about the collaboration and their shared vision for a centralized future. The founders of, of 3AC Ventures uh, are no strangers to the crypto world. They, they were previously associated with Three Arrows Capital, a fund that imploded. After a brief hiatus, they returned to the scene with the launch of OPNX. Despite initial skepticism and um, low trading volumes, the platform has managed to gain traction with daily trading volumes now exceeding $34 million. Uh, the founder's journey hasn't been without controversy that previous venture, Three Arrows Capital, faced regulatory scrutiny for conducted unregulated activities. North Stake raises $3 million to boost institutional crypto staking. The 2.8 million euro fundraise comes from Precede Ventures, Morph Capital, the Adventures Fund, Funfair Ventures, and Delta Blockchain Fund. Um, the Copenhagen-based company, which saw over $80 million in crypto assets staked in 2022, takes care of the legal and technical sides of staking, the process of supporting a public blockchain such as Ethereum by posting collateral to the network in return for yield in a regulatory compliant matter. There are great expectations within crypto for financial institutions to get some exposure to stake in crypto, particularly now that Ethereum, the second largest blockchain, has transitioned to a proof of stake consensus system. North Take simplifies the process while keeping compliance in mind through partnerships with custody technology firm Fireblocks and blockchain analytics provider uh, chain analysis. $225 million worth of Bitcoin withdrawn from Kraken, making second largest outflow. So Kraken, one of the world's largest cryptocurrency exchanges, saw a massive outflow of Bitcoin on June 22nd, 2023. According to a data from the on-chain analytics platform Glassnode, the exchange saw a net outflow of 225,000 BTC worth an estimated $225 million. This is the second largest Bitcoin outflow in Kraken's history, only surpassed by an outflow of 240,000 BTC in December 2017. The outflow comes at the time when the cryptocurrency market is facing increased volatility, with Bitcoin prices falling below $30,000. It is unclear why investors are withdrawing Bitcoin from Kraken. Some believe that the outflow could be due to concerns about the recent regulatory crackdown on cryptocurrencies in the United States. Amazon accused of forcing customers to sign up for its paid subscriptions. Amazon, the prominent tech giant, is currently facing scrutiny from the US Federal Trade Commission over allegations of coercing millions of its consumers into signing up for its paid subscription service, Amazon Prime, without their consent. Furthermore, the company is accused of implementing practices that make it difficult for customers to cancel their subscriptions. The FTC has taken legal action by filing a lawsuit in a federal court in Seattle seeking civil penalties and a permanent injunction uh, to prevent similar violations in the future. The FTC asserts that Amazon Prime knowingly deceived a vast number of consumers by utilizing manipulative and deceptive user interface designs uh, referred to as dark patterns. These strategies were employed to trick users into unintentionally enrolling in automatically renewing Prime uh, subscriptions. So, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video and very soon I will be with a new portion of news, so get ready. Bye-bye.